Good evening. This is Akashwani. I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines in the Nepal signed seven agreements in various fields including trade and commerce cross border petroleum pipeline development of integrated check posts and hydroelectric project external affairs minister dr s j shankar and his south african counterpart review progress of strategic partnership agree to commemorate 30th anniversary of their diplomatic ties gst collections rise 12% to 1.57 lakh crore rupees in may this year union minister hardeep singh puri launches pm swanidhi mobile app to ease loan process and provide information for street vendors and in hockey defending champions india to take on pakistan in summit clash of men's junior asia cup in oman tonight Nepal Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal called on President Draupadi Murmu at Rashtrapati Bhavan this evening. Speaking on the occasion, President Draupadi Murmu said sister city agreements and improvement in financial connectivity can boost tourism between the two countries. The president emphasized the need for reviving the spiritual tourist circuit to promote people to people contact and tourism. President Murmu said India looks forward to a positive agenda in India Nepal bilateral relations to take the age old partnership to new heights. She expressed confidence that this visit would further strengthen the strong bond between the two countries. The visiting Nepalese prime minister also called on Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar this evening. Earlier in the day both the country today both the countries today signed seven agreements in the fields including trade and commerce cross border petroleum pipeline development of integrated check posts hydroelectric projects and payment mechanisms the agreements were signed after delegation level talks between prime minister narendra modi and nepal prime minister pushpa kamal dahal prachand in new delhi Addressing a joint press meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi said he had given the HIT formula for India Nepal relations Bharat Nepal sambandhon ke liye ek heat formula HIT diya tha highways highways aur transways hamari partnership waqai mein heat hai pichle 9 saalon mein humne Birganj mein Nepal ki pehli ICP banayi gayi भारत नेपाल के बीच हमारे क्षेत्र की पहली क्रॉस बॉर्डर पेट्रोलियम पाइपलाइन बनाई गई हमारे बीच पहली ब्रॉडगेज रेल लाइन स्थापित की गई सीमा पर नई ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स का निर्माण किया गया है अब हम नेपाल से 450 मेगावाट से अधिक बिजली आयात कर रहे हैं In his address, the Nepalese Prime Minister lauded India's economic and developmental transformation. He said the relationship between India and Nepal is age-old and multifaceted. The relations between Nepal and India are age-old and multifaceted. These relations stand on the solid foundation built on the one hand by the rich tradition of civilizational, cultural, socio-economic linkage and on the other by the two countries' firm commitment to the time-tested principle of sovereign equality, mutual respect, understanding and cooperation. Foreign Secretary Vinay Mohan Quatra today said that Nepal occupies a very special place under India's neighborhood first policy. Briefing media after bilateral talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Nepal counterpart Pushpa Kamal Dahal, the Foreign Secretary said India's relationship with Nepal is unique and characterized by open borders and civilizational ties that are anchored in shared cultural and religious traditions. He said the two leaders engaged in comprehensive constructive and future oriented discussions directed towards taking the bilateral relationship forward he said the discussions and outcomes covered the entire spectrum of bilateral cooperation the discussions and outcomes cover the entire spectrum of bilateral cooperation including political economic trade energy connectivity infrastructure cooperation and also development partnership External Affairs Minister Dr S J Shankar and his South African counterpart Nale D Pandor agreed to commemorate the 30th anniversary of their diplomatic ties in a fitting manner in Cape Town today. In a tweet, Dr J Shankar said they reviewed the progress of the strategic partnership between India and South Africa. 
Discussions were also held on collaborations within prominent forums such as BRICS, IPSA, G20 and the United Nations where both the countries have a strong tradition of close cooperation. Dr. Jay Shankar also met Saudi Arabia's Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan today. In the meeting, both leaders expressed their commitment to advancing bilateral cooperation through the Strategic Partnership Council, reinforcing the strong ties between India and Saudi Arabia. Housing and Urban Affairs Minister Haldeep Singh Puri today launched a PM Swanithi mobile app for street vendors to ease the loan application process and provide various information to them regarding the scheme. Addressing an event in New Delhi, the minister stated that the PM Swanidhi Yojana is witnessing one of the fastest rollouts of government schemes. He further stated that it has led to an unparalleled wave of financial inclusion and digital literacy in cities and towns that has provided dignity and stability to street vendors. The scheme aims to restore self-employment, self-sustenance and self-confidence among street vendors. The scheme has also empowered COVID-19 affected street vendors to resume their livelihood. Union Minister and Senior BJP Leader Anurag Singh Thakur has said that the Union Government has done work which people never imagined. Addressing a press conference in Mumbai today, he said the last nine years were dedicated to Seva, Sushasan and the welfare of the poor. Mr. Thakur said the Government has laid the foundation of a new India and much more work is to be done. The Union Minister mentioned that the various works done by the government for sports and sportspersons on the issue of wrestlers' agitation, he said the government is following all legal procedures and appeals to the wrestlers to wait till the completion of the inquiry. खिलाड़ियों की मांग एक कमेटी बनाने की थी हमने वो भी बनाई जांच करवाने की थी वो भी करवाई पुलिस से एफआईआर करवाना चाहते थे दिल्ली पुलिस ने एफआईआर भी की सुप्रीम कोर्ट गए तो वहां पर भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने मजिस्ट्रेट के कोर्ट में जाने के लिए कहा रेसलिंग फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया है उसके पदाधिकारियों को काम नहीं करने देना चाहते थे हमने वो भी किया कि रेसलिंग फेडरेशन काम नहीं करती है उन्होंने कहा सब कमेटी बने हमने कमेटी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर भी आईओ ने बना कर दे दी अब ट्रायल्स भी आईओ की कमेटी ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कर रही है इस केस में भी बड़ी तेजी के साथ जांच हो रही है और पुलिस अपनी रिपोर्ट देगी और जब चार्जशीट फाइल करेगी उसके बाद उचित कार्रवाई भी होगी Akashwani Kohima in Nagaland has started the broadcast of news in Pochori dialect from today. The 10-minute Pochori dialect news is being aired live from primary channel medium wave 639 kilohertz at 11:35 a.m. and a 5-minute duration news is being aired at Akashwani Kohima FM Tragopan 103 megahertz at 11:55 a.m. With the addition of Pochori Dialect News, Akashwani Kohima will now cater to 15 dialect news bulletins besides the two regional news bulletins in Nagamese and English. A total of 15 minutes time slot has been allotted for the Pochori program. Meanwhile, Akashwani Dehra Zone also started broadcast of Kumaoni Bulletin from today. Kumaoni Bulletin will be aired daily from 7.30 to 7.40 p.m. from Akashwani Dehra Zone and Almora Station. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. As the Narendra Modi government has completed nine years in office, Akashwani News is bringing a series of special stories on the initiatives taken by the government. Today we take a look at Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana, wherein a record 17 crore new LPG connections helped double the cooking as consumer base to 31.26 crores in the last nine years, ushering in clean fuel in millions of households across the country. Under this scheme, about 9 crore 60 lakh gas connections have been provided as of January this year. A report. Pradhan Mantri Ujjwala Yojana was launched in May 2016 with an objective to provide clean cooking fuel to the rural and deprived households. These households were using traditional cooking fuels such as firewood, coal, cow dung cakes, etc. Uses of traditional cooking fuels had detrimental impacts on the health of rural women as well as on the environment. This scheme has also helped in increasing the LPG coverage from 62% on May 2016. 16 to 100% by now. After this, the government launched Ujwala 2.0 and made an additional allocation of 1.6 crore LPG connections with special facilities to migrant households. This scheme has proved to be a boon not only in making women free from smoke but also making their lives comfortable and convenient. Jitendra Divedi, Akaswani News, Jaipur. 
Union Home Minister Amit Shah has given an assurance to the people of Manipur that the central government will stand firmly to safeguard the territorial integrity of the state. While replying to media queries in Imphal, the Union Home Minister said the centre has always stood for the territorial integrity of Manipur and this has not changed. However, the priority of the government at present is to restore normalcy and communal harmony in the state. The UPSC has offered alternative centres to the candidates of the Imphal Centre of the Enforcement Officer, Accounts Officer and Assistant Provident Fund Commissioner Examination 2023, which is to be held from the 2nd of July. The alternative centres are Aizol in Mizoram, Kohima in Nagaland, Shillong in Meghalaya, Dispur and Jorhat in Assam, Kolkata in West Bengal and in Delhi. The centre change option will be available to the candidates of Imphal Centre through the Interactive Voice Response System IVRS facility. A message in this regard will be sent to each candidate on their mobile number registered with the Commission. The candidates must use their registered mobile number to avail of this facility through IVRS. A candidate can also contact the UPSC on the telephone numbers 2307-0641-2338-1073-2338-4508 and 2338-7876 from 12 noon tomorrow till 5 p.m. on the 12th of June. Union Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment, Pratima Bhomik, today said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given a corruption-free government in the last nine years. Addressing the BJP's Mahasampark Abhiyan on the completion of nine years of the Union government at Udaipur in the Gomti district of Tripura, she said, Prime Minister Modi has changed the scenario of development in the Northeast. Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh Chief Dr. Mohan Bhagwat today said it is the duty of all of us to remember our ancient tradition and accept our Indian culture that accommodates all diversities. He said since ancient times there has been a culture of coordination among the diversities in our country. Mr. Bhagwat was addressing the concluding ceremony of third year Sangh Shiksha training of Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh at Dr. Hedgebar Smarak Smriti Mandir in Reshambagh, Nagpur this evening. India witnessed a substantial increase in its goods and services tax GST revenue in the last month, reaching a total of 1,57,090 crore rupees. The figure noted a 12% surge compared to the same month in the last year. The government has settled 35,369 crore rupees to CGST and 29,769 crore rupees to SGST from IGST. The total revenue of the centre and the states in the last month after the regular settlement is 63,780. 80 crore rupees for CGST and 65,597 crore rupees for SGST. In hockey, defending champions India will take on arch rivals Pakistan in the summit clash of men's junior Asia Cup at the Salala Sports Complex in Oman tonight. The match will start at 9.30 p.m. Indian time. Both India and Pakistan remained undefeated in the tournament. The two teams clashed earlier in the league stages with the match ending in a 1-1 draw. India, however, managed to top the group as they had a better goal difference over second place Pakistan. India had opened its campaign with an 18-0 win over Chinese Taipei and a 3-1 win over Japan. India tranced Thailand 17-0 in their final group game. In the semi-finals, India beat the Republic of Korea 9-1. The Men's Junior Asia Cup Hockey Tournament is being held after eight years. The 2021 edition was cancelled due to COVID. Four Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force carried out a drill in the Indian Ocean region in a significant demonstration of their long-range combat capabilities. The mission lasted six hours and involved mid-air refueling of the Rafales that had significantly boosted the capabilities of the IAF. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. India and Nepal sign seven agreements in various fields including trade and commerce, cross-border petroleum pipeline, development of integrated check posts and hydroelectric projects. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar and his South African counterpart review progress of strategic partnership agree to commemorate 30th anniversary of their diplomatic ties. GST collections rise 12% to 1.57 lakh crore rupees in May this year. Union Minister Hardeep Singh Kuri launches PM Swanidhi mobile app to ease loan process and provide information for street vendors. And in hockey, defending champions India to take on Pakistan in summit clash of men's junior Asia Cup in Oman tonight. 
That is all in the news at 9. Good night.